Hey YouTube, what's up? This is By The People here. We're doing a companion. Very impressed yes, with are. the work you've been doing on behalf of the city. Not doing a companion. You know what I mean. That was a bad choice of words. Sorry about that. Vale Anna Shock, who runs a business here in the Enclave. All right. Adventurer. Let's get a companion. What do you guys think? I think that's a good idea. All right, we'll run on down there. Okay, this is where I'm at. The auction house is right over there. Yeah, we're going in this building here for the companion. In case you're not already a fan, if you're new to this channel, I usually pause when I'm blowing through Protector's Enclave, just because I get a lot of lag when I'm in here, rather than making you suffer through that with me. I'll take care of it this way. <laughs> if you need a companion, Tell me about I companions, mean. sure. Do you guys know about companions? I don't know. If you don't, that's why I'm here. Companions do help you choose, help increase your abilities, and they can save your butt sometimes. Uh, this guy, he's pretty squishy so far, the Scourge Warlock. I'm tempted just to get a, an apprentice healer and be done with it. Uh, the dog works out pretty well in some cases, but um, I think I'll just take this. All right, my paladin chose that dog. He actually holds up pretty well, does some damage. So uh, that's all there was to that. Now here's my dog. Hey, if you don't know this, and I have seen some questions about this, it's pretty easy. Um, once you get a companion, if you want to equip it, it's in your inventory. I just open the inventory and double click, double left click on that. Now I have to name it, uh, we'll just call it uh, the iOS, uh, let's see. How about Paleos? I can't think of anything creative at the moment. I'm drawing a blank. How about. Uh, nah, it would be nice here. Paleos. How about Friend? Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's dorky, but whatever. Get over it. All right. Now, if I want to check them out, go into your character sheet. Hit letter C, and that opens that up, and here it is, right here, in all of its glory. Uh, if you have defense items at, right now at this first rank, uh, these will, as, as this uh, character ranks up, these will open up as well, on down on both sides. Uh, I don't have anything there yet. I do have this, Profane. I uh, will just slap something in here, uh, just for now get into bonding rune stones and all sorts of other things later on but uh, I'm not worried about that right now and then uh, now I commit this uh, but we're not done yet we need to make sure we summon this character otherwise we go into battle and it won't be there sometimes they do get killed um, they won't travel over a bridge sometimes or you'll find all of a sudden your characters disappeared if you look on your upper left hand side of the screen see all the portrait of the character uh, that tells me he is with me um, at the moment. If it's just a little star icon, here let me uh, go back into here and dismiss it. Okay, see that little guy? How the portrait disappeared on the upper left hand side? That means that companion is no longer with me. So you have to summon it to be able to give you active heals. Now you do get a little bit of a bonus just for having that active. Um, I'll show you this too. Uh, as you progress through the game, if, if you're new, it might seem like it's a long way off, and it is in most cases, unless you have a lot of money to burn, uh, or if you spend an awful lot of time farming. But um, these other slots will fill up, and then, once they do, you can move them over to your idle companions. And what happens here is, once you move them over, you're no longer getting the benefits of their attributes that they contribute to you, but you can keep them. Uh, it's an extra, kind of like an extra sack for you to hold your companions in. As long as you have them over here, though, these are considered your active companion slots, and these give you the bonuses that they, they have with them, which is pretty cool. So hopefully that clarifies that for you, and it's a pretty easy little quest. Uh, if you don't know to get that uh, from Sergeant Knox, though, uh, you, you could miss it. And it's a free companion, and it does help. In fact, I have a level 70 uh, character, my Hunter Ranger. Uh, for whatever reason, I haven't been using him a lot. Uh, it was my first one, and I just, uh, I don't know, it's okay sometimes, but just for whatever reason, it, it's not my favorite character. And so, <clears throat> 
I still am using that cleric as his companion. I haven't bothered to get him anything else, <laughs> which I don't. I get. I, I just don't care for that one for some reason. So he's stuck with that companion, but it still holds up. I use it in the uh, different level 70 dungeons and stuff like that, and uh, it is a little bit of a help even to have that. So if you don't want to waste time with companions, uh, at least get your free one and uh, just spend a little bit of time here and there upgrading it, and uh, and it's pretty cool. You'll have a companion with you. So hopefully that helps. Just something simple. Now let's go on up here and tar talk to Sergeant Knox again. I started to go to Sergeant Knox and I realized too I wanted to talk to this Emporium vendor while we were here. Here are some other, like if you decided, ah, uh, you know what, I should have gotten a cleric. Maybe I wanted that dog instead. That's a nice little striker companion. It gives you a little bit of a armor penetration bonus, which is kind of nice. I did get him with my paladin, and it's working out pretty well, but you have a couple other choices you can make here. There are only two gold pieces, so it's pretty cheap, so if you just want to uh, go ahead and load up on a couple of those guys, you're good to go. Uh, here are some other ones that you have. Uh, you have different ways of purchasing them. This is uh, for astral diamonds here. Uh, this is for glory. Uh, you are in glory um, during uh, PvP. It's a good way to get that. Um, let's see. Anyway, you have. Oh, I haven't been in here in a while. You have these. These are trade bars. Uh, you get those when you open packs. Um, when I say packs, I mean things like these right here. Um, if you look down at the bottom of this list, you have the Tarmalone Trade Bar Jackpot. And you get those every time you use one of those daily or daily keys that you get if you have VIP. Otherwise, you can buy the packs. Uh, you can buy 20 in a pack. They are kind of expensive, but uh, anyway, they do they do add up, and you can get some pretty cool companions that way. So I just thought I would take a second and show you that before we run up to Sergeant Knox. We'll go ahead and finish this too while we're in here. This is a Zen vendor, of course. Uh, you can also get other companions through here. Go ahead. We're just talking about companions because we're in companions. Um, but you can see you have all sorts of choices. Lots of different things that help you on your way. You have your strikers, controllers, leaders. Just really depends on what your play style is and what sort of additional uh, bonuses you need. Some people really like these augmented. Did, uh, like the uh, High on Stone of Lore, that's a popular one some people like to use. Um, but uh, that's a whole whole different thing. This is just uh, really a basic thing on a companion. In fact, maybe I'll do a companions episode uh, in a lot more detail. This is just for low-level characters just getting into the game, uh, trying to figure out what quests to do. Uh, having that little companion is nice. It can save your butt in some cases and maybe cut down on some of the potions you have to use to, uh, so you can focus a little bit more on the gameplay itself. And uh, we'll reappear up here at Sergeant Knox then. Okay, we'll close this out. Care and feeding complete. Wonderful. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching Neverwinter with me. Hope you enjoyed that exciting episode. <laughs> it wasn't very exciting, but it is helpful. Like I said, grab the free companion. It's right there. It's and you, you can load up on those suckers. Uh, you might as well. They have the uh, have a little bit of gold. Uh, they do help you give, get those bonuses and really until you can afford to get into good companions, uh, grab those guys and uh, just use them as you level up. They will help you out. Uh, anyway, please leave a comment in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Come back so we can play again.